<clears throat> you can't just say first all the time. Can't just claim to be first at everything. <laughs> yep, Twitch is uh, something special sometimes. Something special. So I think what I want to work on now, well, let me get the tea. And then we'll this. So I think I want to do a hack for particle cornering to fix this problem where let's make it, let's change the ocean and make it a little bit more explicit. Isn't that great? When you control a game, you could just change the ocean anytime you want. Just change it. Change it. We're just going to take all this out. All right, so for example, to the right of where my red guy is here, see how the water is sort of, you know, it's moving to the right and then it's getting turned very strongly by this current going south, but um, it's getting turned so strongly that very little of it is surviving to the edge. So there's a, there's a, um, there's a very strong disparity between how many particles are on the left versus on the right. It's kind of lopsided, right? So um, I just want to try some simple hacks to fix that lopsidedness. You can also see this happening down at the bottom. There's like a lot of particle flow happening at the top and even overlapping from the top and very little at the bottom. Yeah, there's going to be a lot more work happening on the water. Don't worry about that. This is just our first early water attempt. We have much more to do. Um, but I want to work on I want to work on this lopsidedness thing just because it's a simple idea. And um, well, if we can fix that, then that's one less problem to think about on the water and it frees up brain space for other things. Um, if it's hard, then it, that informs us in other ways. All right. You know what? See how... See how our characters are just too dim? Let's fix that real fast. 
That has nothing to do with oceans. So effect color Oh, I can tell I'm going to rat hole on this. Let me just see really fast. Maybe I don't. I thought I would be able to look right there and see a number, but I guess it's in the shader. Dimmed factor, there we go. Desaturate amount, okay. Okay, that looks better. I mean, there's still a little dark overall. This is better. I mean, in terms of brightness. Oh, wait. This is how much we go grayscale. I see. It's the non. Uh, let's see. Inactive color is diffuse illuminance. This is weird. Okay, I kind of get it, but. Okay, so there we still do want a little bit of color, so we're going to leave that at 0.8. Um, I guess we'll leave that there for now. It's like they all, you know, their BRDFs are all a little bit low anyway. I mean, I could just edit the material rather than waiting for other people to do it. Um, let's see. I don't know what reflectance is. Specular intensity. Okay, let's it's not really changing that much. Let's revert just in case. Um, just the albedos are a little bit off. I don't know how to set that. I 
all this PBR stuff. I don't really know. I don't really know. I don't know how to make them lighter. It is difficult. It is difficult. Well, I don't want to hack it. I could hack it. Like, I could do this, right? I can, I can crank them by using the following method. Right. But that's not even what we really want to do. Oh, dude, right here. We're dotting it with 0.3. What? Oh, my God. Okay. Does anyone remember what these numbers are to get... Um, to get luminance. What are the coefficients? 0 0.2989, 0 0.2999, Point one one four five. Okay, so this is, you know, so red, green, and blue have different brightness levels. And so if you want to know, if you want to know the brightness, You do that. Is it not just that they're backlit? Well, I mean, they're just, in general, like if you look at how much light is bouncing off this guy, it's, it's, uh, it's too little. Like he's not getting whatever other source of light is supposed to be occurring is not really occurring. Let's just see which of these is happening. Neither. All right, is that true? Entity color mode, replace color. What does that mean? Let's see what happens. Are we hot loading this? Yes, it's just fast. Good. Tint. Off. Tint. Replace color. I don't know. All right, we'll leave that in for now because uh, if we're going to tune it, I don't know what we're going to tune it to. Okay. Um, Like the flash color, it's weird. I don't like the way it's being done. Just like flash the whole freaking dude. Wait, 
This is not even. That looks kind of cool, but uh, wait. You know, I was going to just do this for one minute. Uh, we'll just do if flash factor. Whoa, I messed it up. Can't do that. Oh my god, that's so lame, dude. All right. That didn't help hardly at all. What is going on? Oh, wait. It's because this is happening down here as well. It's just, it's not really that good of an effect. I mean, we're going to have to think about this later. Like, how is that not just insanely? So like, yeah, the material, I don't know, it's too dim. Maybe it's just the textures are too dim and they have to brighten them up. Anyway, that's all I'm going to do for now to play with that. Okay, so let's do the particle thing, shall we? So I want to go into the particle simulate. Uh, water particle simulate. And we're not going to worry about getting it on screen at the same time yet. So we need also a water particle. We need to add float um, hungry again. We need to add some particle state data called um, inflow 
lateral parameter. Position used to even out particle density when flowing around corners. Okay. I think that'll be okay. All right, so yeah. Um, oh, is the fucking OBS? I didn't start it as administrator. All right, I'm sick of this. I'm gonna restart the stream. Sorry, everybody. Piece of crap software. Back in a minute.